start with the first step what you need to do is download few softwares from internet first one is the custom rom which rom you are installing the second one is the tools the drivers and the last one is the odin how you push the custom rom on your phone let me take you to the monitor and tell you how you can download those softwares all right friends now we are in screen recording mode once you're on the desktop or laptop just open any browser and in google type in mi ui and hit enter this will open the official website on the first link click on this and on top right hand side you will see there is a download link click on that once you the download link opens it will show you different mobile brands and you need to select your own mobile which you are going to upgrade in this example i'm using samsung phone so i'll be clicking on samsung and within samsung i can see my mobile phone that's samsung i9500 this is actually galaxy s4 code name is i9500 okay so here we have link to download the full rom just click on this this will directly download a zip file it's approximately 850 mb so i have already downloaded this I'll show you where it is. Okay, so this is the file. The second file, what you see, MIUI underscore i9500. This is actually the official MIUI ROM. And it's approximately 861 MB. I don't have to extract this file. This is a zip file. I have to keep it as it is. Now, the second thing what I have to download is the tools. The tool for upgrading the ROM flashing the ROM, those tools will be available in this zip file. So how will you download this? I have provided link below in the description. Just click on that and it will download these tools. It's approximately 35 MB, so it won't take much time. Okay, so once this tool is downloaded, just right click on this, click on extract. You can use WinRAR or WinZip. I'm using WinRAR, just click extract here. You can see I have this folder. All the files are extracted into this folder double click okay so you can see we have multiple files here like odin recovery and other things these will be used while flashing or upgrading the operating system so for now i'll leave it as it is now we have downloaded uh, all these softwares which which are required to upgrade your operating system from stock samsung and right to miui fast operating system now, before uh, doing the flashing, you have to make sure that your phone is uh, installed or your phone drivers are installed in this computer, which will be used by Odin. So to check that, first connect the USB cable to your phone. And uh, it should show in my computer the name of the mobile. Make sure that your phone is unlocked. If it is not unlocked, it will not show. So I'll go to my computer. Here you can see, I can see S4 Abhi. So this is my mobile phone. So what I can uh, understand from this, that this phone can be connected to this computer or laptop. I just double click and check. Okay, I can access all the folders. So this means the basic driver is installed in this laptop or desktop okay the next step is to enable the developer mode in your mobile so how do you do that just go to settings inside setting you will see more inside more you will see about devices and inside device you will see build number you have to keep on tapping on this build number until it says developer mode is enabled go back and you see this developer option has come. This means developer mode is enabled on your mobile phone. All right, the next step is to rename the file what we have downloaded. Just right click on this, rename, and type in small letters, M-I-U-I. Be very careful with this letter. It should be in small caps, and it should be only M-I-U-I dot zip. Okay, once you have renamed it, just right click, and copy it to the mobile phone. Connect your phone 
with data cable and you can see in my computer it should appear okay your phone is there right click this copy go to phone inside phone you have to be in the root directory and right click and paste this it will take some time to paste okay now you can see this miui.zip is in the root directory of samsung galaxy s4 now you can close this window and remove the data cable now the next step is to restart this phone into the debugging mode or phone os upgrade mode you have to first turn it off okay once it turned off you have to just press the volume down button and press the home button and the power button all three buttons should be pressed at the same time and keep all three buttons pressed now you will see you will get a warning message it says that custom OS can cause critical problem to your mobile phone trust me guys custom OS are not so bad that it can break your phone but you should always remember that this will void the warranty and you will not get warranty in Samsung Service Center and the second thing is everything will be wiped from your phone so make sure those two things you agree upon and you can proceed so to proceed you have to press on volume up button and this will take you to the phone debugging mode okay now what I have to do is I have to open Odin on my system and then I have to connect the USB cable to this phone just go to my desktop inside tool I have Odin I'll just click on this and now what I have to do I have to make sure that auto reboot and F dot reset time is checked and then in PDA I have to click on the PDA button and I have to select recovery.tar this file will be present under the tools menu itself where what we have downloaded so just click on recovery.tar and click open and then you have to connect the phone with USB cable now you can see you have to connect the other end to the same computer where you have opened the Odin connect the cable now on Odin you can see ID colon com it says com4 it means this phone is connected to the com4 and it a message also says it's added now you have to click on start once you click on start this will format your phone and install the operating system it will take some time okay now on the screen you can see it says pass and on mobile you can see it's getting restarted I can remove the cable now you can see there's some activity going on the phone it's actually installing the new OS and this will take some time what I'll do, I can pause this video for some time. Now you can see uh, mobile is getting restarted after doing those uh, activities. And the Samsung logo has come. Uh, let's see what has it installed. It's taking some more time. So let me pause the video. Okay, friends, now you can see. Uh, MI UI has come into Samsung Galaxy S4. This is looking very beautiful. Okay, now I have to select language English. And then you can see I have all the English things here. I click next. Then choose the default input method. I'll choose Samsung keyboard. Next wireless LAN I'll skip this for now checking with the sim card I don't have any sim card here continue 
location access no I don't want to send any data to MIUI click next congratulations and I show me click OK all right now you can see we have MI operating system on Samsung Galaxy S4 phone so this is how we have routed the phone and it's very easy now let me check if camera is working or not okay the camera is working all right I can click photos and photos are getting stored all right so I'll be doing a detailed review for this MIUI on Samsung Galaxy S4 you can see this is really smooth and it's working very fast okay let me show you the version go to settings and I can go to general settings and I can go to about phone and inside phone you can see Android version is 4.2.2 and this MI UI version is MI UI hyphen 7.25 and model number is GTI9500 this means this is Samsung Galaxy S4 okay so this was my video how you can install different operating system on Samsung Galaxy S4 I hope you enjoyed the video please like and do subscribe have a nice day bye bye